One of the easiest and most effective ways of taking someone out in Showdown is by using an item of value as bait. Although despite it being a very simple idea, there are actually a lot of ways that it can go wrong. That's why I'm here today, to cover the various mistakes that lots of people make when trying to bait in Solo Showdown, and how to do it effectively so you don't fall into the same trap. But before we get into the games, I want to quickly say that if you like what you see or have any further questions regarding this video, be sure to pop into my Twitch chat. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump right into the first game. Okay, so we are spawning in the top left corner of the map, and unfortunately we've got the corner spawn, another spawn where that Nita is over there. If we had gotten the spawn where the Nita was, we'd be able to bait with this box, and it'd be a pretty funny and pretty easy kill to get as well. But unfortunately for us, we got the corner, but we still managed to secure the kill on that Nita pretty easily there, doing a very good job overall. So, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go towards these bushes over here, and I'm going to see if I can maybe use the box above me to try and bait someone towards that. Because I am playing Rosa, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. Because obviously I'm a close range brawler, I do a lot of damage up close range. And I also have an energy drink over here which could be very useful for baiting as well. So I can sort of just sit here and wait for someone to try and come over here in this area. So right there that Shelly had no clue at all that we were chilling in those bushes. We managed to grab the energy drink and then take her out. I'm going to grab the box while I'm here because I have got this whole corner to myself. And I know for a fact that there's nobody up here waiting for me. There's nobody I'm going to be able to actually bait for the rest of the game. At least I don't think there is. So I'm going to just hold my position up here in the top left corner. We've done very good so far with five cubes a super and all three of our gadgets remaining. I'm going to actually cut back to you guys when some action happens because I don't feel like I'm going to be moving for quite some time. Okay, so we've got the storm pushing us out and also an energy drink just over here which I'm going to try and go for. So right there, be able to grab that energy drink. I was, I did think that someone would actually try and get it like that Daryl did, but instead he's just going to run around sort of roll away, try and juke me and I can actually pressure him like I am right now into doing that kind of thing and actually going towards other players. Although unfortunately for us, but lucky for him, there was nobody in the bushes that we're in right now, so it's going to pay off very well for him. I'm actually going to look for a situation where I can put some bushes down. I can see that there's been another Rosa that actually put a lot of bushes down in the center there. So if I can maybe contribute to that and make like a big bushy middle, it's going to pay off really well for us because we have the plant life star power and we can get some very good healing out of it. So I see there's someone in the storm there. It's another Rosa. I have my super. I, tr I want to try and use this on her, but I don't know what where she is. I don't want to pop it too early. So right there, she's going to come in close range with us. I'm going to get my super before she does, which means I'll charge it faster than she will. She actually had more ammo than us and she played it better because because she had the upper hand there, unfortunately, and we weren't able to take the first place. If I had used my super earlier, I'd be able to take her out or maybe hold on to it or something like that. I might have been able to win it, but I wasn't quite sure where she was as she was in the bushes and knew where I was, but I didn't know where she was and she was just taking good chip shots at us to try and charge her super. But we still baited very well in that game with that energy drink at the beginning of the game with the Shelly. I also had that plan B with the box as well if the energy drink didn't work, but we managed to secure that kill really easily and I did very well there. So without further ado, let's hop into the second game and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we are spawning on the left hand side of the map this time and we don't really have anything that we can probably use as bait Although I think this cube right here might actually work pretty well for us Hopefully someone comes from the bottom of the map tries to go for the power cube But then realizes that we were actually in the bushes that are right next to it So that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play a little bit patient here and sort of wait it out Hopefully we can get somebody who is actually able to do that although I'm not too sure about that We do have a crow over there who's really far to the right I don't know if you saw that box or not it doesn't look like he did I'm gonna move up here in case the crow checks the bushes although it looks like he hasn't so I'm gonna wait for him to use his ammo right there he's used all three attacks we're gonna be able to just pop out of the bushes there and take him out not take a single bit of damage because we played it safe we waited for him to unload all of his ammo first and then we were able to pick up the very easy kill so right there that's how you want to do it using these power cubes as bait works really well when you're playing a brawler like Rosa it also works with other tanks like Shelly and Bull and it just works really well overall there's really not too much to say it's pretty easy to execute when you get a little bit of practice and it's also easy to execute with things like an energy drink like that Carl just managed to pick up there. So right now I'm going to wait it out on the left hand side of the map here towards the center. Hopefully we can get an energy drink spawning where that energy drink spawned just then where that Carl got it because that'll be very good bait for us and we can use that. Although at the moment it looks like they're spawning a lot closer to the center and other players are able to get it. There's another one which spawned right there. That's going to be a death trap because that ball already has one. He's going to be able to contest that very easily. So I'm just going to maintain my spot up here and not do anything right now. That ball did run down to the bottom of the map so I could see I can actually see the fights that are happening down there as well. I did know there was a Leon there so that's why I went towards the middle to try and bait him to shoot me and then he ran away. I know that he's grabbed a an energy drink as well 
well, and he probably has his invis, or he's very close to getting it as well. But I'm just going to stay over here, play it safe, make sure that I don't do anything too silly. There's a ball up here with six cubes, and he's actually going to be a very easy kill if we can get close to him. He's going to go for an energy drink right here. I'm going to be able to just, like, shoot at him and deal a lot of damage, which is not going to work for him. It's actually really interesting there. So that energy drink was a very good distraction for us because it was he thought that he was able to take us out when doing so, and we were able to get a very easy kill on him because of the way that we played that out. We actually have a Leon over here, so I'm going to use my super because he had an energy drink, and I didn't want to take too much damage to that. So I can grab this one now, and I can see that he has energy drink still, but I'm going to be able to heal up in these bushes. Hopefully, we weren't able to take the win there, unfortunately, because he was able to deal a little bit too much damage, and we couldn't heal. And I'm going to just quickly explain what happened in the end there, because I was going really quickly trying to commentate all that gameplay all at once. So, let's take it a step back there with the bull situation. There was an energy drink that was spawning close to the storm, and that bull thought that he could grab that energy drink in time, and then use that to kill us when we were trying to chase him down. While that is actually something that he could have done, he wasn't able to execute that properly because we were applying too much pressure to him using our range to our advantage to deal a lot of damage and we managed to take him out instead so we were able to grab the energy drink and use that on other players and as for the Leon situation we, were, we weren't able to take him out because we didn't heal up in time and his energy drink lasted a little bit longer than I expected if we had a little bit more health we would be able to pop out of those bushes and take him out very easily but unfortunately that didn't go very well for us at all but that's gonna be it for the second game hopefully we can get some good examples in the third game as well so without further ado let's jump right into it Okay, so we're spawning at the bottom of the map, which is the perfect spawn, one that I was looking for this entire recording. So hopefully, we'll be able to use it really well. Now, as you can see, there's these bushes that are down the bottom here at the spawn point, and also a power cube that you can get fairly easily. So this Daryl here, unsuspectingly, is going to come over. I'm going to be able to get some nice shots on him because he went for the box, and we're able to grab a very easy cube and get a lot of super out of that, even though we didn't get the kills. So that's a very f one of my favorite things to do on this map is those spawns at the top and the bottom of the map. You can use that to your advantage really nicely, and we're able to just grab two cubes here, bullying this Daryl with our health, getting two free cubes out of that and some super as well. And now what we can do is we can go to these little bushes here and what happens is energy drinks normally spawn in the center of the map. So we can probably get some spawning here, use those as bait and get even more kills and just use all of that to our advantage so that it benefits us as well. So I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I think what I'm actually going to do is put a bush just at the back here just because I can. Not really any real reason but if I do want to fall back and hide I do have something to work with. So that's going to be fairly helpful if we do need it. I do see there's an edge drink over there and I don't know if anyone's using that one as bait. It wouldn't surprise me if someone like a tank is playing in the center of the map there and they'll use that to their advantage. So I'm not going to go near that. I'm just going to sort of let people do their thing. Maybe someone else will try and go for it. And instead I'm going to keep my eyes on this fight against the Daryl and the Poco. As you can see the Daryl rolling out onto him and an energy drink is spawning on him as well. So I'm going to come out here and try to get the energy drink or get the kill. I'm going to be able to get the energy drink and that's going to be very good for us. So I can just run around here. The Daryl is going in the storm. He's going to use his roll, but I'm going to be able to catch up to him with my speed, and we are going to be able to finish off the kill there nice and easily. So, playing this off very well so far. Very happy with what we were able to do this entire game. Getting the bait with that box on that Daryl, and eventually taking him out as well. We almost have our super now. All we have to do is hit one more shot to get it. As you can see, we managed to get it off of that penny. She threw her mortar down in panic, so I'm just going to come out and break it pretty easily. Not any difficulty with that right there. She's going to stay in a very bad spot, and that's not going to be very good for her. I don't know if there's anyone else in this area of the map, but I'm just going to stay here where this energy drink is and use this as bait because if someone goes for it. Actually, I'm going to predict. I'm going to go now, grab the energy drink, see if I can maybe go for this penny. I was hoping that maybe she would go for the energy drink and try to take me out with it. And I would have predicted it perfectly to the point where I'd be able to get the energy drink and then kill her with it. Although that didn't happen. We still managed to get the kill on her and take the Shelly out as well. Doing very good that game. Got an easy first place, plus 10 trophies. Very, very good. I feel like I explained that really well throughout the recording, so I'm not going to do a recap at the end here. So without further ado, let's jump right into the fourth game, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we are spawning in the bottom left corner of the map, and we do have a box over here with a pair of bushes. So that's going to be very good for us. We're going to be able to sit here and just wait it out. Hopefully this Leon goes down and goes to the box. It looks like he is, and he doesn't even suspect that we're in here. So I'm going to wait for him to use all his ammo. As you can see, he unloaded all three attacks, and we were able to get a very easy kill on him, and that's exactly how you want to do it. When you do bait, you do want to keep in mind that someone, if it's a power cube, they're going to go for the cube, and knowing that nobody's there, they're going to just unload all their shots to get it as quick as possible. So what you want to do is 
is you want to wait for them to use all their shots before you attack because if you attack a little bit too early they're going to have some ammo to fight back with and they might actually get the kill and it'll backfire on you but we played that really well we got three quarter super a free kill two free power cubes and now we're sitting in a very good spot on the map with our bush gadget to our disposal so there's actually a brock over here who doesn't know we're in here i'm gonna just go straight for him and try and get him i'm gonna use my super as well to try and tank the damage we were able to get a very easy kill on him but we were left with very little hp so i'm just gonna fall back and hide play it safe not gonna go for the cubes i'm gonna let the bow take them because he had a lot more health than we did and i'm gonna throw some bushes down here because it's gonna be very nice for us to hide in if we do need to so there's actually a horus bow coming down to the bottom of the map he's got seven cubes and an energy drink so i'm gonna run away and just sort of get out of there looks like he's gonna take shots at that mecha bow who has got an energy drink this time and that's gonna be very interesting for him i'm actually just gonna come in and try and take out this totem pole and actually trip that mine as well just apply some pressure put him in a very bad spot because he's been going far too aggressive for my liking and now we can sort of pressure him into that corner and he's gonna have to choose either to fight me or to fight the other bow instead so it looks like the bow is gonna go for the energy drink and there's another bow above us. He's going to grab that one. I'm going to just be careful. Not going to go for him. I'm going to stay in this corner for as long as possible. Because I don't want him remembering that I'm actually down here. And that I'm in this spot. Looks like we were able to do that pretty successfully. Although it looks like he has locked eyes on us now. We did get stunned there. That's okay. I'm just going to fall back and run around. Try and dodge the mines. Also going to get stunned once more. And we're going to get taken out as well. Unfortunately. I wasn't paying too much attention. And I could have played that a little bit better if I was. Although I'm still very happy with that bait that we got on the Leon. Sort of at the start of the game with that power cube. And overall, with all the baits that we've gotten in this video. So I'm quite happy with how this recording turned out. I hope you guys did enjoy it as well. And if you learned something, if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I make these How to Win style videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And also, if you have any further questions, comments, or suggestions, or you just want to talk to me, I do stream live over on Twitch every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. And as always, keep sweating. <sighs> Wait, oh, 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 Ribble. Maybe, maybe. Ribble. 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 Die? Oh. No way. No way. Oh. No way, dude.